The details here at 530. Federal officials are a step closer to banning popular video app TikTok in the United States. Well, this comes as U.S. intelligence agencies consider the app to be among the top threats to national security. The House passed a bill today either forcing TikTok's Chinese owners to sell its stake or say goodbye to its American audience. Action News reporter John Paul looking into the details live for us in University mm -hmm. City with reaction from those who use this app likely every day, John. Yeah. Yeah, they do. A lot of people said they do use it every day. Now, Shari, it is in the hands of the Senate at this point where it does face an uncertain future. Now, it sailed through the House this morning, and many of these app users, they're wondering why there's such a push to essentially ban the app. The yeas are 352, the nays are 65. With that, the bill that could essentially ban the wildly popular app TikTok passed the House with huge bipartisan support. 14 of Pennsylvania's 17 congressional members voted in favor. Some congressmen warned the app could pose a national security threat. TikTok's pervasive influence among young Americans makes it an ideal tool for the CCP to propagate its narratives, shape perceptives, and advance its geopolitical agenda. The bill itself doesn't ban TikTok. It forces the parent company, ByteDance, based out of Beijing, to sell the app within six months or be banned. It does the same with apps owned by three other adversary countries. I think it will be a sad day, the day we lose TikTok, <laughs> to be honest. I don't know what I would do with myself, actually. The news of the House passing the bill was a disappointment to Ashton Stewart. News that he learned about from TikTok. I saw a TikTok that was like, you guys have to come to D.C. and protest. And I was like, I'm not doing that. Other users say the app is pushing them to contact their congressman. When you like open the app, it says like the House is voting to ban. And then it has like a button where you can like call to like tell them not to ban it. But it's now in the hands of senators and it's said to face a tougher battle there. Even if it does pass, these college students are skeptical anything would happen. I feel like it won't. I feel like this has happened before. Like they say like they'll ban it, but like then it never happens. Mm -hmm. But I hope it doesn't. Well, if it does happen and the Senate ends up passing the bill, the president has said he will sign it. Now, ByteDance, the parent company, says this is an attack on First Amendment rights. And we did just hear back from uh, Senator Bob Casey's office. We've been asking how he might vote. Now, he didn't commit either way, but did say he's concerned about the national security implications of TikTok's ties to the Chinese Communist Party. Live in University City, John Paul, Channel 6 Action News. Gray, Shari? Yeah, certainly a big talker. We'll continue to follow it. John, thanks for the update.